Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with designer Matt Leacock looking at a prototype, non-final components, for Pandemic the Cure and hoping you can give an overview of the game. Sure, yeah, we were just demoing this uh, earlier in the convention. Again, this is a prototype, right? So parts may change, colors okay. may change. Wording may change, <laughs> everything may change. May change. Yes. Yeah, uh, this is uh, the DICE version of Pandemic. So it's called Pandemic the Cure. Um, it sets up in about a minute, you just throw it on the table, and uh, you can play it in about a half an hour. Okay. Uh, but it captures all the tension of the, of the board game. Okay. So. so we're trying to save the world again. Yeah, it yeah, you're trying just to won't save the stop. world. From, yeah, right. again, this world just keeps getting infected. Um, so uh, yeah, the, the world breaks out in these infection dice, right? Instead of cubes, you got dice. So this is an example of startup. Yeah, this is how we set setup, up with right? the infection. The world starts out infected. Some uh, regions may be worse than others, and you got the six major regions of the world here. Okay. And your uh, your team starts out in North America here at the CDC, and you travel around, and uh, on your turn, you roll dice. And the dice tell you uh, what kind of actions you've got. Okay. With the dice specific to your role. That's right. Everybody gets their own role, just like in Pandemic. So you get your medic, or can, uh, I'll just lay out a few of them here for the camera. Um, everybody's got their own set of uh, uh, abilities, and uh, a lot of those are represented on their dice. So all the dice are the same for a given role, but each role has their own set of dice. Okay. And uh, yeah, you travel the world and you basically try to keep everything under control before it uh, outbreaks into uh, chaos. Okay. So what's the nature of a turn? What are we yeah, doing so here this time? Yeah, you roll the dice and um, this gives you different options for moving around. So you can fly to other regions or you can um, take a ship to an adjacent region. And uh, you're looking for these um, uh, needles, uh, which are treats, and that allows you to take dice off the board and put them into the treatment center here. Okay. And there you can uh, take them and put them back into the bag. Um, because if the bag runs out, you're going to lose. So too many people are infected. And you can also get these bottles, which allow you to bottle up samples of a disease and stick them on your, on your card. And you need to bottle up enough samples so that you learn enough about the disease to go for a cure. Okay, and again, is this collective where if you collectively bottle enough yeah, right. or you so individually the, for example, have to do it? Here the generalist has got a sample, but you need to roll and get a 13 or better on your dice. And so you're not going to get that with one die, right? So okay. if your fellow players can move around, collect samples, pass them to you, so you get enough of that sample and you can roll for it. And if you get a 13 or better, you get to uh, take the little uh, cube here and mark the, mark the cure. Okay. When you get enough cures, then you, you win the game. Okay. How does more infection come on the board? So you're yeah, going to take your turn? Round, yeah, at the end of every round, you reach into the infection bag and you look at the uh, rate here. This is tracked on little pegs. And you pull out dice and roll them, and they come back out into the world. So uh, here I'm infecting uh, Southeast Asia and uh, got a little bit coming into Africa down here. And that's all fine and good, unless, you know, let's say I added a, a fourth yellow into. Uh, Africa here would outbreak and it goes clockwise into the next region. So you can have these chain reaction outbreaks just like in the board game that you track over here. Okay. Um, you can also roll shields and those go right into the CDC and that gives you a uh, positive thing. So occasionally you've got um, good things happen and then you can spend those on different events and you can fire those off at any time. So if you've got some kind of crisis you can look to see if you've got enough energy stored up to, to take care of the situation. So these are the, the special cards that we don't have in hand now but yeah, sort of right. available to everyone. The, similar to the game, you've got events right here. Okay. Yeah. And player count is one to four? Is that what no, we're it's actually at? two to five so it'll support a fifth player. Okay. But no solo? Uh, no, no, not, not right now. Okay. Plans for the future or well, you could possible? Play solo by playing multiple roles, right? <laughs> right. right. But uh, yeah, yeah, that opportunity is in the future. Okay. And I know this is right now scheduled for the second half of 2014. Um, what? What do you? Is it just the production issues, component issues? Like, I is it? Not it. The, I mean, wow. this this came off my laser printer. You know, I had my kids putting stickers on the dice. You mean right before you came here? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is. I mean, right. It's done. <laughs> I put. You know, I found some uh, typos and things. This is a. This is a prototype. Let me put that out here. You know, this is not the dispatch. This is the research. Right. But uh, so yeah, <laughs> you know, I can rip this up and we'll get a new one. Right. Uh, yeah, it's still a prototype. Okay. <clears throat> um. Is this the end of pandemic? Finally? The end? No. <laughs> nice, nice softball there. No, now look for, yeah, I mean, Tom and I have a lot of ideas for expansions. Right. And uh, yeah, this is just too much fun to, to, to say it's the end. Right. So why dice in particular? I mean, what was it, you were just curious about how to transform it in another way? Or well, I mean, Z-Man you know, saying like, 
Matt, come on, you gotta give us some some other thing. I we need a we need a deck building game. Where is our pandemic deck building game? We yeah. gotta get that. Yeah, I mean it's it's a, it's a fun way to, to make it more accessible and and faster and uh, to bring it to the table more. So um, yeah, for all those reasons. But it also brings a lot of attention. So you roll your dice, and what I didn't mention is that you can roll these as much as you want. Okay. There's no. I mean, you just keep going and going until you get the right thing. But occasionally you're going to get these biohazard symbols, right? Okay. And uh, yeah, I neglected to mention this. So <laughs> as these things come up, the infection rate goes up, and so you're going to be drawing more and more dice out of the bag. Okay. And uh, so every time you're rolling, you're like, oh no, you know, we're going to get more of these. And uh, occasionally you'll hit one of these uh, epidemics. And when that happens, you have to take all the all of your hard work, you know, bringing these dice into here. You have to pick all those up out of the center, add some more dice, roll it, and the world comes out again. So there's a lot of tension in this one, right. um, even more so than the board So that's game. good. I mean, it's free form enough to take as much risk yeah, as you want. Yeah, it's really like, well, a lot of it is like, uh, can I satisfy us here? You know, is this good enough for this round? Because it looks really bad. Uh, or should we uh, roll and, you know, then worse right. things might happen. So there's a lot of press your luck in it, which adds even more to the tension of the board game. With, with of course, uh, your dice getting locked as you're yeah, trying to cure things. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, uh, if you're if you're trying to cure as well, that's right, right. That's so getting locked lock as well over, over time, and you have to decide: should we should we try to cure four of them at the same time, which probably is not a good idea, right. or you know just one or two, and who's going to go for what? And, and then of course the roll abilities come into play. Uh, you really need to use these. So what are what are sample roll abilities just to get people? Uh, well, uh, right we've got the um, let's see. This I'll just start with the simplest ones. The medic here. I'll put the medic out. Medic is really good at treating. Um, he's got these amazing die sides that uh, will basically are worth three of any other players. So you can do three actions on one die side there for treating. Um, others, the scientist here is very good at um, um, bottling up samples and going for the cure. So, uh, so adding to the die roll is your... Yeah, adding to the, to the total value. I'll just give you a couple other ones. The contingency expert, our contingency planner is very good at uh, turning these dice into shields and, and putting them up on there. Okay. Um, and then uh, the generalist is different in that no special uh, ability on there other than you get seven dice instead of five. So. so more options, more opportunity to have biohazards. Well, they get to ignore the first one. Oh, so I took okay. that into account. Yeah, okay. yeah you read my mind. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Sounds fascinating and uh, a good twist. Oh, final thing. Is there going to be any way to combine the two in some the manner? Board game, yeah. yeah. You play the dice game and then you play the board game. It's just one combo evening. Okay. Now, I, I don't think there's going to be a blend necessarily. That's an interesting idea. Well, you know that question is going to come up immediately, so I thought I'd be the I, first I, to I, ask. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I'd be the first to ask because it's going to be in the geek where people will be like, how do I combine the two? Or do you transfer one from the other? Yeah, or it's interesting. Do you know. of stuff. Yeah. All right, down the road. Okay. Another idea for the future. All right, thanks.